What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to the SSBA Pokemon Draft League. This is week eight as we bring you our final match for this regular season, and I'm excited to show you what we have for today. Uh, before we jump into it, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. As you can see, most people who watch the channel are not subscribed, so please don't be one of those people. Help us to reach our goal of 5,000 subs by the end of this year. And I think we can really do it, but of course I need your help in order to get there. Now, of course, this is our last battle of the season. We of course are guaranteed not going to be making playoffs. And so we're gonna be memeing a little bit this week. And so I've been looking forward to being able to kind of kick back and not really worry about winning or losing. And so that is what we are up to today. Before we jump into the match though, I wanna say thank you again to all of you who have been coming out and supporting these videos and all of my D&D content as well. Um, of course, I just had a baby, for those of you who don't know, and so it's been uh, it's been an interesting time of trying to uh, figure out what to do and, and how to survive and that kind of thing. That's why we don't have any kind of webcam today or or anything like that. And the, and the battle is post-com because uh, there was someone screaming during the uh, during the entire match. So I figured you all didn't want to listen to that. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for, for showing up to this content and leaving me comments down below to help with the algorithm. And I will say we have already joined a league for once DLC uh, comes around here in a few weeks. And so I hope you're looking forward to that. I know I am. Um, I'll have more details about that later on. So uh, make sure that you are in the know on that. Of course, to stay in the know about what's going on, you can of course follow me on Twitter or of course join my Discord down below. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we are bringing this week. And now of course we are not in playoffs. We uh, lost last week due to a red card endure slow bro so that's up in the i card above if you want to check that out so we're out of playoffs so that means we can meme and so i wanted to meme as hard as i could possibly meme and so that's that's what we did so let's take a look at what we're going up against this week uh we're going up against arcanine dragonite iron bundle gengar which is the free terra captain cloister fortress screentail crocodile breloom bronzong wigglytuff and over Quill. Now this team originally had Chi Yu over Arcanine. It got traded away. That would have been so much scarier, but uh, yeah, so this is what we're working with this week. And it's a really good team. Um, now my opponent, I believe it was make or break to get into playoffs for this week. Um, so my opponent's trying to win. I sent my opponent a message. I was like, listen, I'm just gonna be memeing this week. I'm not in playoffs. Who am I to, you know, stand in anybody's way? I'm just gonna be playing around. Also, huge shout out to it's Danny Mac again. I know I've been mentioning him a lot here recently, but when I say that that in the past he has helped me on teams, he has given me a lot of help. When I say he built the team this week, he built this entire team on his own this week for me. And then I made a couple of little changes, which I'll talk about, but almost everything of this is him so huge thank you to him for doing that for me i was just absolutely swamped with trying to figure out work stuff trying to figure out baby stuff all that stuff i had no time to prep for this week and i told him i wanted to meme as hard as possible and he came up with some really cool stuff so make sure to check him out he is down below so starting off we have my terra captain uh, the Sneasler, of course. And so we're going with a bit of a weird set. I got beaten by Endure last week, so I had to bring Endure this week on something, and Endure Leechy Berry seemed right. Now, originally this was a Taunt T-Spikes uh, set. It didn't have Endure on it. It was a Focus Sash set, uh, but I changed it to Endure because I wanted to meme even harder, just given my uh, last week's set, and it makes it a little more reliable for the lychee berry to activate. And so that's what I wanted to uh, to go with with that. So basically we're just gonna be trying to set this up and just click reversal. So basically remove Gengar and then just go nuts is kind of, kind of the plan with that. So really, really cool. Next up, the ultimate in meme technology, Enamorous Therian with Power Herb Fly. So we are a physical variant this week with Iron Head, uh, also Iron Defense, Play Rough, and Fly. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool. It can definitely catch some things off guard um, that would normally want to switch in on this, which is pretty cool. So I like it a lot. I think it's great. It helps me to really check that Scream Tail, which normally would come in on this for free. Um, so that Iron Head's going to hit pretty hard, which is great. Um, also can uh, hit Bundle if it's on the way in. So 
Um, for all of those reasons, I think this is actually uh, pretty cool. So I'm hoping we can get uh, something done with that power of fly. Uh, next up, Dragapult. This is a, a mean Dragapult through and through. We have Infestation, Protect, and Curse with the Grip Claw so that we deal a little bit of extra damage on our residual with Infestation, and then Phantom Force. So that way we can basically set up Infestation and Curse. That way the target is stuck in and can't leave and is taking residual damage and then we can protect and phantom force so that we're only being hit every third turn which is kind of nasty and so i really really like that for a meme uh, it's a lot of fun max hp max speed we didn't really put a whole lot of thought into the uh into the evs this week i just it i didn't think it was worth it um then we've got a scarfed indeedy this is actually pretty standard uh we've got size shock for any of our uh, special walls um hyper voice to hit at least decently hard uh healing wish to maybe heal something back up if we need it and dazzling gleam so uh, nothing too weird or crazy with that um it can catch things like the uh dragonite wanting to go for an extreme speed um so watching out for that overquill going for uh an aqua jet um ice shard from cloister there's a lot of, a lot of options here that uh, that that can catch so really cool there um slow king next uh we brought weakness policy slow king with calm mind stored power surf and iron defense um again a very goofy set we brought oblivious this week rather than regenerator so that we can ignore uh certain stat boosts and that kind of thing which is pretty cool um, we're mostly specially defensive, so that's in order to be able to take a hit from Bundle going for the uh, the freeze dry on this, activate that weakness policy, and then just kind of go crazy, hopefully, with some nice bulk. So uh, I like this set. It's a lot of fun. And then finally, Rotom Heat. Originally, this Rotom Heat had an Iron Ball. Uh, I went with a Lagging Tail instead. I felt like that was... Um, a little more applicable in case I couldn't catch uh, something specific coming in. Um, so I, I, I just, that's the only change I made to this though. Trick, Bolt Switch, Will-O-Wisp, Overheat, pretty uh, pretty standard. So that is our meme team for this week. Uh, it, it's, it's weird, uh, but it's a lot of fun. And I think it's gonna be really cool. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. Again, we're not really worried about winning or losing this week uh, just because it, it, we don't make it to playoffs either way. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how well we can do. All right, so we found our opponent. Um, of course, if the, my opponent has a channel, it'll be down below. I don't believe he does, um, but if so, I'll put it down in the description below. So let's take a look at what he brought here. Um, he brought the bundle, he brought the Gengar, Overquill, Cloyster, Screamtail, and Arcanine. Um, some pretty interesting things. No Dragonite, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, no Fortress was kind of expected. Um, Crocodile was also interesting to not bring. I figured Scarf Crocodile would be a pretty, uh, pretty free bring. But either way, it's all good. Um, I had planned to just lead with Ndidi no matter what. Um, and then if it ends up being a weird matchup, I can just switch. But um, I, I don't see anything really that is going to be terrible into lead in DD. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Now, I want to preface this match by saying something. I told my opponent probably five or six days before our match, listen, this week I'm not in playoffs. Um, I have no intention of stopping you from being in playoffs. So I'm just going to be memeing this week, right? I, I'm just, I'm just going to be bringing some weird fun stuff. This is basically a free win for you, so don't stress about anything. It's 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 not it's not that serious. So that's kind of how I entered into this. I, I didn't really run any calcs. I normally have a bunch of calcs and and things sitting at my disposal in front of me, um, but I didn't have any of that for this match. I I came into it with absolutely no prep. Um, like I said, Danny uh, built this team for me almost in its entirety. Um, so I, I'm just kind of kind of cruising at this point because I was just kind of dead to the world. I'd had no sleep, uh, but I go for the hyper voice here. Turn one. He stays in and he sets up spikes. Now, listen, I, I'm not one to, you know, complain about things like this. But like if your opponent says I'm memeing and you start with the hazard stacking turn one, that's a really bad look. <laughs> it, it's it's just it's just in really bad taste. So I, I, I immediately was just kind of 
I, I got a little bit triggered, honestly, about that because I thought that was really, uh, really in bad taste. So I just go for the hyper voice again to see if he wants to give me this um, as, as kind of a, yeah, I did something weird, but no, he switches out, goes to Gengar, which is fine. So I'm going to also get out of here. And I don't really have great switches. Like I said, this is a meme team. Um, so I'm not really focused on having amazing switch-ins, um, but I'm just gonna go into Rotom because I think this is a pretty decent mid-ground play. Um, Rotom is pretty bulky as it is, and so it should be able to handle pretty much whatever my opponent wants to go for. Um, but yeah, Gengar is a, a big threat, obviously. It always has been. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, so um, it's it's nice to be able to uh, to actually go up against it this season. Uh, there were a lot of a lot of Pokemon that I was hoping to uh, to see this season that I didn't get to just because I didn't face uh, certain opponents, things like Masquerada. Um, I didn't see Baxcalibur this season. Um, a lot, a lot of your your big things that are that are pretty pretty major threats um, were on teams that I didn't even face, which is is good for me not having to prep for it. Um, but you know, I miss out on on seeing some things like that. So I go into Rotom. And uh, my opponent actually pulls a double here, um, and I believe goes back into, yeah, goes into the uh, Screamtail here. Now this was a pretty good play, um, but I think that just tricking the Lagging Tail is a really good thing. Screamtail is pretty fast, um, and whether it's defensive or offensive, it really doesn't matter because it's going to be, uh, it's it's going to be kind of a kind of a threat. So. I feel like this is a pretty good a pretty good one. Um, even if he wants to switch into something else, I really feel like about any item I take is going to be fine. Outside of Overquill, I don't want to take its uh, Black Sludge, but so it, we get Calm Mind, right? Again, Calm Mind is a little strange uh, on a, on a Scream Tail. I kind of wish that I was uh, Choice Scarfed on this in order to really shut that down, but. It's okay, Lagging Tail means that it's gonna be the slowest thing on the field no matter what, which is still gonna be pretty decent, right? So again, I'm really not wanting to overthink anything in this match, so I'm just gonna click Volt Switch. He didn't bring Crocodile, so there's no ground type, so I'm, I'm completely free to Volt Switch around if I want to, which is really nice. And so pretty much my, my obvious switch in would really be the uh, the slow bro, but because I don't have regenerator, I feel like I need to keep that healthy. So I go into cooties instead, the enamorous. And so we get another calm mind. Now the thing is, enamorous is super, super, super slow. But with lagging tail, we ignore that, which is pretty cool. And normally, if we were special, we wouldn't be able to handle something like this. But we're physical this week. And so we are going to be clicking that iron head immediately. And we also have a chance to flinch, possibly, which is also pretty decent. So we get some, we got some teamwork going on here. We got the lagging tail from the Rotom going into Enamorous, uh, which normally would never be faster than pretty much anything, uh, being able to uh, have a flinch chance here. So we go ahead and click that. It does a really good amount of damage, which is nice. We don't get any kind of uh, any kind of flinches, but um, we do take the Thunderbolt not well, um, and so I'm like. I could click Iron. I could click Iron Head here, and uh, just just be boring. Or I could click Power or Fly because I really don't have enough HP to uh, handle anything else. So I want to make sure that I get my meme off. Uh, so that's that's what we're gonna do. We are we are gonna get our meme to go through, and we're gonna click Fly. I know we're faster, so whether you stay in, whether you switch, doesn't matter. I'm clicking Fly, so I'm good either way. Um, so yeah, I, I, I love being able to build memes at the end of seasons like this, whether uh, whether I'm in playoffs or whether I'm not. Um, just the, the meme time of, of the season is, is always a ton of fun. Um, you really don't get that many opportunities, especially when you're playing like OU. Uh, most of the time in draft, you don't get to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna fly up high and then we're gonna get charged and we're gonna get a KO with power or fly, which is absolutely fantastic. That is everything that I wanted out of this matter, out of this battle. That's 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 everything I needed. So, I think that's that's really fun. Um, that's that's why we love why we love doing draft. Why we love having the opportunities to do things like this. Next up, I believe my opponent goes back out into the overquill. Um, that would make the most sense. Yes, that is what we see here. Intimidate, of course, does affect this, um, and I'm not 
really like sold on keeping this around, but um, it could possibly have some use uh, in the future. And so I believe I end up switching at this point uh, into the Dragapult. Um, trying to remember because it's been uh, several weeks since I have uh, have done this battle. Um, no, I go into Indeedy actually. Um, so yeah, we go into Indeedy here to take whatever hit that, uh, that my opponent wants to go for, which is totally fine. Like I said, we're Scarfed. We're just here to deal a little bit of damage. Hyper Voice is a two hit KO on this, which is really nice. Um, like I said, I was originally Trick Ring Target, which means that I could have clicked uh, the Psychic move pretty freely against this, uh, but it's all good. It's not a big deal. So we do take that Barbarage, not well, and we do get Poisoned, which it's a 50% chance. So it might as well be 100, especially uh, coming into going into me. So it's all good. Um, I'm just going to go for the Psy Shock here, predicting the Gengar to come back in. Um, and my opponent doesn't do it. So I could have just knocked this out at this point um, or at least gotten close. And then my opponent sets up more spikes. So again, like I said at the beginning, it, it's just, uh, I don't know. So I'm, I'm scarfed here. I do have to switch or I have to let this go down. Either way, my opponent is getting a third layer of spikes here, um, which is just rather unfortunate. Um, in fairness, I probably should have just stayed in here um, in order to uh, just go down to the poison, just because I'm not going to live the switch into spikes. Um, however, if I switch into something now, it'll take a little bit less damage from the spikes. Um, I end up going into my cooties here, the enamorous, um, just expecting a third layer of spikes. Um, and so there's really not anything that I can that I can do about it um, so yeah there there it goes we've uh, we've completed the hazard stacking and so I hope my opponent is having fun by doing that um, we're gonna get a little bit of recovery from the black sludge and then basically I'm just kind of letting this go down I clicked I clicked fly I'm not expecting to live anything here so Barbarage is gonna go ahead and take me down and that's totally fine now typically when you think of something that is a dark type you typically wouldn't think your check to it would end up being your ghost type. But I believe I end up going Dragapult here to try to uh, put in a little bit of work and wear this down so that um, so that my Sneasler could come in and, and reasonably uh, get set up and, and do its thing. So, um, so we go ahead and go into this. We take our spikes damage, that's fine. Um, I go ahead and click infestation here. As you can see, no, I click protect first just to see what's going on. Um, I'm, I'm trying to see what my opponent wants to go for. I'm assuming it's the bar barrage again, um, and that is what my opponent ends up going for. Probably not the best play just because that is a free turn of, um, of black sludge for my opponent. But basically now I'm going to uh, negate that black sludge by clicking infestation. So my opponent now cannot escape and is now taking turnly damage every time. Uh, and so that will help to negate that uh, that healing that it's getting back. Um, of course, it's 50% chance to get poisoned. I actually don't get poisoned here, which is very fortunate. Um, and we are of course gonna be dealing a little bit of damage with the infestation each round. And so now I'm going to click, I'm going to click protect, I believe, yeah. Um, Usually this strat is a lot better um, when you're doing it to something that does not have passive recovery, like something with uh, the leftovers or the black sludge, anything like that. But you know what? I'm I'm just stubborn like that. And so we're going to uh, do a little bit of extra damage with that infestation. So we're, we're starting to chip away a, a little bit we're, we're dealing a little bit of damage because of the, because of our item um, and so I'm gonna go for the phantom force here so that gives me basically a free turn where you can't hit me and then I get to deal a little bit of damage on the next turn so we're gonna be uh, slowly slowly chipping this down uh, over time I, I never thought that this would be my switch in to overquill but honestly it's doing some work and so I'll take it and you know the phantom force doesn't do all that much but that's you know that's like two or three turns of infestation so i'll take it barbarage isn't doing all that much and again we don't get poisoned which is pretty great so we're doing all right we're, we're doing okay and so i would like to go ahead and remove this if i can 
Uh, probably should have just clicked protect there. Not sure why I didn't, uh, but but it's okay. Hindsight is always 2020. Uh, my opponent goes for the Aqua Jet here. It doesn't do hardly any damage. Um, just trying to get in before that Phantom Force, which is is fair. Um, but yeah, I probably should have just clicked protect there just so that I got an extra turn of that damage. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. So we're going to go for the Phantom Force here and, of course, deal a little bit of damage to this. Of course, it's taking it pretty well. Um, but we got it to the red, which is pretty impressive, to be honest, considering that this is a meme set like this. Um, it's it's pretty impressive. Now, I could have clicked Curse here and just taken it out immediately. Um, and it, 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 it could have it could have been done. But I'm going to go ahead and click the Phantom Force here. Um, I'm not going to mess around in it at all any. So we're just going to go ahead and click that. We're going to disappear, of course, and then uh, we'll take this out on the next turn, which is pretty cool. So yeah, Dragapult takes down an Overquill 1v1 with a mean set. And so I'm I'm all about it, right? My opponent didn't bring a dark move in order to hit this, and so we are able to take advantage of it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So yeah, down goes the Overquill and long live Dragapult. So good job, Dragapult. You've done you've done really, really well. And so now my opponent gets to go into something else. Um, I, I really wasn't sure what my opponent would want to go into here. Um, I figured Gengar wasn't the option, but if my opponent does go into Gengar, that kind of indicates that it's scarfed. Um, so that could be good information. Um, and so Gengar comes in here. So this basically indicates to me that it's scarfed. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just protect here just to see if my opponent wants to stay in or if it wants to pull a double uh, on the next turn. Um, so my opponent does go ahead and go for the terrestrialization here. Makes total sense. This is your Terra Captain. You do what you got to do. And so we are going to see Terra Ghost to just boost that damage coming from the Shadow Balls, which is totally fair. I, I totally get that. Um, and so I'm going to click protect here just to see if my opponent is wanting to uh, wanting to stay in here on me and my opponent is more than happy to stay in which pretty much indicates to me that it's scarfed um i don't really have enough hp on this to do a whole lot could have gone into indeedy just to sack it um but you know again hindsight 2020 um so it goes for the shadow ball it is going to be confirmed scarfed again like i would have gone down to spikes when i switched into this whether I went into this or Indeedy. So, I mean, it, it really didn't make a difference ultimately just because the hazards were there. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Now, here I make a bit of a misplay. Um, I had had kind of been running a few calcs here just to see um, if my Slow King could live a hit from Gengar. And I could have if, uh, if, if I had actually clicked the Terrastalize button. Um, but I didn't do that. <laughs> and so uh, so I'm going to end up going into my slow bro here uh, after after much thought and try to just get off a hit just to kind of soften this thing up. Um, again, we know that it's scarfed at this point. We know that it's going to go for that shadow ball. I would love to have had more health on Indeedy or there not have been hazards on the field, um, but neither of those happened. So it is what it is. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to go into this and definitely could have, could have saved it. Didn't, didn't have to go into this, but it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Um, so I'm going to click surf here. And of course my opponent is just going to click the shadow ball again. No reason to click anything different. And so, yeah, I'm going to end up, uh, end up taking all of the damage, which is, uh, which is a thing, which is, which is, which is fun. Now I, I could have gone into... Um, rode him initially and I that was just that was just the best play um, so should have gone into that could have saved the slow bro for later um, of course I'm not going to take any kind of um, damage from the spikes on this um, there's no reason to trick so I'm just going to click overheat straight up uh, I don't think there's a better option here um, so yeah we're going to go ahead and uh, take this shadow ball we do live barely because Rotom is a beast click that overheat and it's going to almost take out the Gengar, which is huge. Um, we we absolutely needed that damage on this Gengar, just because otherwise I don't have any way to hit it 
on the Sneasler outside of Dire Claw, which isn't going to do all that much. Um, so yeah, I needed to get this thing a lot lower and Rotom did that, which, which is good. Um, like I said, I wish I had gone into this first so that I could have had my Slowbro around or my Slow King around rather. Um, it would have been really nice for the, uh, for the Arcanine. Um, and so basically at this point, like, having a sack around really isn't going to make a difference. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of misplayed that. I should have sacked Ndidi rather than, you know, losing the, uh, losing the slow bro, but you know, it is what it is. I was running on like two hours of sleep during this battle. So, uh, forgive me. It's all good. Um, but so yeah, this is why endure is going to end up being better than having the focus sash. Like what we initially thought again, we kind of assumed that my opponent wasn't going to bring hazard stack because I had talked to him about being memes, but I, I changed it to endure at the last second and it ended up being what uh, what we needed to do. So I go ahead and click the endure. And so shadow ball gonna come into me, which is totally fine. But after unburden activates, um, when my lychee berry goes off, then I will be faster than any scarfed, uh, any scarfed variant of Gengar, which is really good. So we get a plus one to our attack and we are, of course, maxed out on power for our reversal. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Dire Claw here. I, I know that it's gonna take this out, which is fine. And so looking at what's in the back here, right? We've got Arcanine, we've got Iron Bundle, and we've got Cloister. Pretty much like we've set up the end game exactly how we needed to in order to get by. Dire Claw gets disabled, but we really don't care because we're really just going to be worrying about clicking the uh the close combat here like i said i'm expecting the arcanine to be defensive so i'm not expecting any kind of crazy priority there bundle doesn't get priority um cloister could have um it could have ice shard i don't know um, but so we go back down to neutral and so here is where my tiredness goes nuts when i was sitting here playing this game i thought that i had pressed the button to terastalize and I missed it with my finger. So I misclicked and didn't terastalize. And so if I had Terra, I would have won this game. I would have okoed everything on the team. Bundle went down, this went down, and uh Cloister was not focus sash, it was white herb, so it would have also gone down. Um so yeah, I kind of threw there at the end, but you know, it's fine, it's all good. Um, I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Again, I was I was guaranteed not in playoffs regardless, um, but it's something you live and you learn, right? You gotta be really meticulous even when you're tired and it's, it's okay, it's totally okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Like I said, I have already joined another league at this point and I am excited to bring you another season once the uh, once the DLC drops here in a couple of weeks, so be looking forward to that. Of course, my normal uh, my normal videos for Dungeons & Dragons are going to be returning very soon as well. So again, I, I thank you so much for all of your all support on all of my videos. I hope to see you all very soon in a future video. Until then, stay safe out there, stay healthy. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.